Hey guys, Davin here at brewbits.com. Today I thought I would go through with you Chemsan. Chemsan is a steriliser for brewing and I thought I'd go through with you how to use it for sterilising your brewing equipment. So, a couple of things first before we get started on Chemsan. <clears throat> it comes in various different sizes. It's made from phosphoric acid and this is dangerous. Um, it's concentrated in here. Um, if you get it on your skin, it will cause burns. If you get it in your eyes, it's gonna hurt and it's gonna cause problems where you're gonna need to go and see a doctor or go to A&E. So first things first, this is dangerous stuff um, for adults to use. Obviously keep out of the way of children, um, but be aware it will cause you issues if you get this on your skin. So. With that out of the way, it's fantastic to use. You need to dilute it down um, about two mil of this to one liter of water. Um, and don't be thinking, oh, I can use four mil for one liter or 10 mil for one liter. It doesn't do it any better. And all you're doing is basically wasting acid um, and potentially causing other issues as well. So this gets mixed up two mil per liter. Um, and you can mix it up um, into a jug. You can um, mix it up like I do and put it into a spray bottle. Um, and then you can use it either to spray, you can use it to coat things, you can leave it soaking in things, you can put it in a cloth and wipe things around with it, nice and easy. When you're diluting it though, if you live in a hard water area like we do here in Somerset, lots and lots of limestone around, then this is no good to mix with hard water. It has to be a soft water. So if you know you've got hard water in your area, then you'll need to dilute it using either a bottled water or a distilled water. The only way to know for sure easily is that if you make up a solution of it and it turns cloudy, then your water is no good for making up chem sand, okay? So you need a soft water with very low amounts of carbonates in. So lots, uh, if it's, as I say, if you're in a limestone area, the acid will react with the limestone. It will just wipe out its properties. So there's my chem sand already made up. Um, it can froth a bit when you are using it. So it's just something to keep in mind. But again, it's very, very good for sterilizing pretty much everything. It's not very good for cleaning, as in if you've got a stain, it's not gonna lift that stain. So you'll need to use something like a chlorine or a peroxide based cleaner sterilizer like VWP or um, Shorsa. Um, but as I say, if you're using it for sterilizing because you've already cleaned all your equipment, then fantastic. Okay, what have we got here then? So I have got a thermometer in, uh, I've got a um, little bottling wand, I've got a hydrometer and a trial jar, a bottle, a spin venator. Um, down here I've got a siphon, uh, oh yeah, my long spoon and a bucket as well. And so we're gonna be able to quickly and easily sterilize with all of this. So let's start off with the little bot there. So here's my solution. Ooh. All I simply do is spray the outside of it and then spray the inside of it. Because it foams up, you don't need to get everything absolutely soaking wet in it. It will wet itself and it will all move around. Uh, same with the thermometer, nice and easy. You can just coat it and it's done. You can put it into a rag or into a clean cloth, I should say, not a rag. And you can wipe things down with it. Nice and easy, like, like you see. Uh, with the hydrometer and uh, trial jar, just a few squirts into it like that. And pretty much that's done. Um, so, uh, your spoon, nice and easy. Squirt, 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 squirt. Um, what else have we got? Um, ooh, my siphon. So the siphon, I like to do with this bottle. Let's get it down nicely. 
is shove it on the end so that we can get all the inside done. And squirt, 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 and watch it go down the tube, James. And you keep squirt, 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 until it's gone all the way through the tube. Oh, almost there, almost there, almost there. A few more squirts. Ta da! Um, right, what else? Um, well, we've got our bucket lid. Squirt, 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 squirt. Uh, inside of the bucket, squirt, 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 and again, your clean cloth, very useful. You can then just wipe it around. Make sure your surfaces are covered, etc. I'm sure you're going to do a better job than I'm doing right now. I'm just doing it quickly to show you. And then, once it's all been wetted, you can then leave it to dry. So for example, in here, I've got a little bit too much. So if you pour that out, okay. We now need to leave this on the side to dry fully. Um, so if you try and use it wet now, still got all the acids going on, still not done its job of killing all the bacteria, etc. cetera. Um, however, what you can do if you want to use it a lot, lot quicker. Here now we've got our siphon that's been um, sterilized. If you want to use it a lot, lot quicker, then you can, of course, rinse it out with cold tap water. And because of physics and foam and tubes, it does take a while to get the foam through your siphon, all right? So there are things that it's absolutely great for and things that it's, perhaps there's some other cleaner sterilizers that are better at it. But again, your spoon, you can just leave that to dry. Um, your bottling wand again. If you want to use it quickly, a quick rinse off and you're ready to go. Same with a hydrometer and same with the bucket. So you can see down at the bottom of my bucket now, I've got quite a lot of liquid. I can do that in advance, leave that there. By the time I come to need it, probably 10 to 20 minutes a bit later, it'll be clean, sterile, ready to go. So when we're doing our bottles, I like to use the um, Spinvenator. So what we'll do is with the ChemSan now, let's make up a quick solution. <clears throat> and remember I was saying, you don't need to use very much at all. Now, this little tank up here, uh, this one on the 100 mil is five mil, this one on the 250 mil is 10 mil, and so on and so on. If you've never ever used one of these before, come on in James, have a look, because you take the top side off of the tank only, and if I now squeeze, the chem sand comes up through this tube here and into the tank. And if I keep filling too much, but obviously not over the top, and then let go, it cleverly sucks back any excess. So you're always left with the amount, in this case, five mil in this tank. Now, remember I said it was quite concentrated. We only need for a litre one mil of this. So I've got a little, little pinky, inky, dinky little syringe in it. Cute. So, one mil is all I'm after. Then pop the lid back on for safety because I don't even want to get this on my clothes because if I did, it would mean I have to go and take my clothes off and then go and have a shower and yeah, you don't want that. So one mil, just that much into my jug. Oh, that's all it is, tiny amount. And then to top it up with cold water. Now ChemSan does foam quite a bit so try and keep it nice and slow and gentle. And you can see where I'm using my really hard tap water here, it's going this milky color that I said to you is not gonna be very good for using ChemSan. So normally I make this up with distilled water here, but this is just to show you, to give you an idea, okay? So I just pop it then in my Spinvenator, take my bottle, 
couple of good squirts and then leave that on a bottle rack upside down to dry um, and then you're ready to go. So it's as easy as that to use Chemsan. Um, as I said, there's if you're using it as a sterilizer, fantastic. Loads and loads of different applications for it. Um, this little bottle I've got written up here, I use that in the kitchen all the time to wipe down uh, work surfaces. It works absolutely fantastically on uh, getting stuff up from the work surfaces that might even be stuck to it. And like you've left the gravy jug and you lift the gravy jug up and you, oh, works absolutely fantastic for it. Anyway, um, so Chemsan, we do it in a few different sizes. Uh, please be careful with it. It is dangerous. It's a very, very uh, good sterilizer. Um, cleaner wise, as I say, if you've got stains on the inside of your buckets or your barrels or your fermenting vessels, then use a chlorine or a peroxide based cleaner sterilizer. Otherwise, this for a no rinse cleaner, uh, no rinse sterilizer, very, very easy to use. As always, if you've got any questions, please put them down below. I will try and answer them and get back to you as quickly as I can. But as I said, if you're using this, please be careful. It is dangerous. Um, but for now, happy sterilizing.